Hi, I'm Kristen with First Updates Now, and I'm here with Team 1414 IHOT with Monit and Justin. Um, Justin and Monit, do you all want to tell me a little bit about what y'all's role on the team is? Yeah, so I'm the captain, and Monit's also the captain, or co-captains. Um, I mainly focus on design and Monit programming. You focus on uh, programming mostly. Okay. Um, tell me, tell me about your robot. What's kind of your favorite feature about it? Um, so I guess here, starting off from the front, we have the cargo intake. Um, so yeah, it's just a dual roller, and it um, picks up off the floor and angles up to pick off um, from the loading station. Um, and then it's on a, a single jointed arm off of a custom gearbox with an 800 to one reduction, um, so we can control it easily. We also have a cascade elevator here, powered off of four 775s um, red lines. And then we have our climber in the back. That. Um, I guess this is probably one of our favorite parts of the robot. Uh, the climber is powered off the main elevator, actually. So, on it, do you mind lifting the, uh, or lifting the elevator? Um, so we lift the elevator, um, after we're in this position, we drop these hooks down mm -hmm. on the climber and we lower the elevator and then it engages the hooks down here and that way once we lower the elevator even more and lower the arm onto the platform, we can climb and then just drive on. Awesome. Um, I guess one part, another part of the robot is the hatch intake, which is kind of uh, it was working, but we're in the process of fixing it. Basically, we have two pistons in the in the tube here, and it just um, on linear bearings uh, pops in and out. The mechanism's here. It just goes into the hatch panel and it opens up. Um, but yeah, we're fixing that right now. Awesome. All right, and then on the programming side, yeah. So we basically have a limelight camera on the front of our robot. That's mostly used for aligning up or aligning the angle of our robot with the reflective tape. We use the dual target mode, which is really helpful in this game because. Um, then you can see the difference between different hatches. Um, for the drivetrain, since we use NEOs, uh, it's pretty easy to use, use the encoders in there and then set up PIDs. But for the elevator and arm, we use the 775 Pros and the Talon SRXs and Victors. So from that, we can basically use, run motion magic with an S profile or S curve. And that allows us to create a velocity and acceleration graph and then kind of smooth out the, the edges of that with the jerk values. And that lets us, do, the drivers use different set points. And for example, if we didn't go to the hatch, it's consistent. We go to the same level every time, just by the click of a button rather than manual percent output. So awesome. yeah, that's pretty helpful. And then, do you guys want to tell me a little about some of the outreach that y'all do outside of the outside of uh, yeah, robots so, or, or fun stuff that y'all do as a team? Yeah, so I think we've grown a lot as a team, like technically. Um, so if you look at our 2016 robot, it's kind of funny actually. Um, so uh, actually, Mona and I have done like some workshops with um, Robo Jackets. Um, which is like the, I guess, the robotics organization at Georgia Tech. And we've been kind of trying to like introduce like more technical sides of FIRST into Georgia because as a district, we're still kind of growing. Mm -hmm. um, so for example, we've done like introduction to control systems or introduction to like custom gearbox design because I feel like that's something, while not every team needs to do, mm -hmm. is something that some teams should look into. Awesome. And also, we kind of um, we're kind of trying to grow a lot in our school itself. We go to an international school. But we're trying to bring up the STEM there a lot. So we have an FLL team for middle schoolers, and we're kind of also growing ourselves. We had about 11 people in 2017, 17 people in 2018, and 45 people this year. Whoa, 45. So it's, like, it's a huge growth. That's all high school students out of 200 people or 300 people in our entire high school. Awesome. 45 are on the team. So it's fantastic. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys are ranked pretty high already. So best of luck with the rest of your matches today. And uh, we'll see you. We'll see you on the field.